Hi everybody, welcome to Off The Rack, I'm Sam. I'm Tiffany. Today, find out what's in this box at the end of the episode while we review Civil War number two, number four. This issue, of course, was written by Bendis with art by uh, David Marquez. It continues this summer blockbuster story event. Yeah. That uh, nobody asked for, and I don't think anybody is really enjoying very well. No, I gotta tell you, like, I had been, like, like cool on board, and then this issue, I felt like... It's so funny, because it's amped up to what's going to be an actual fight, and... And I it, don't give a crap. It just, like, hit the brakes. Yeah. It was weird, because this is... If, if for everybody who's been complaining, the Civil War has been in no way a war. It's both mostly been, as I've been describing it, you know, they're, they're kind of amping up. They, they get really... They they get they boil up to a problem and then they yeah. all just kind of talk it through. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last issue was legitimately just watching a court case. Yeah, and flashbacks. And reaction yeah. and like, and of course the the most shocking death of a Marvel character since you know literally a year ago when they killed all of them. So I you're know, gonna be like since Uncle Ben. Since Uncle Ben, yeah, <laughs> when no one was shocked because they didn't even know who that was. But uh, I don't know this. The art is okay. It's still great. You know, Marquez knows how to draw uh, great characters and facial yeah. expressions, and action is really good. Uh, the panel composition is really nice. The the shot composition is really good. Yeah. Uh, as far as art wise, you know, uh, it, it's just a it's just a good looking book. Civil War two through and through has just been a really good looking book, and yes. it hasn't been significantly delayed. No. So it's four issues in pretty much four months. Right, and I. Don't... Yeah, the art's great. The art's fantastic. Uh, and <laughs> the story, you know, the first Civil War was written by Mark Miller. He had a friggin' point that he wanted to make. It, like it or leave it, he made his point at the expense yeah. of character, continuity, whatever. Bendis, he doesn't really seem to have a point that he wants to make. I'm not, yeah. Like, I don't get, like, the real kind of emotional crux. Like, I get that, like, they're sad that Rhodey died. But, like, for the main point of the article yeah. you know like what is the point of civil war why are they arguing why are they fighting what's the where's what's the conflict um the tie-ins are exploring that on uh, that concept but i gotta tell you i've read some of these tie-ins and they're not exploring it nearly to the depth of intensity and work that the last civil wars tie-ins did the last civil wars tie-ins they're like we're gonna get into this right you know, who is right yeah registration you know, we're really going to, and we're going to do, we're going to make comments about race and class and get really into right. it. These, it just, like, they're like, I, I don't know, I got to tell, I got to do something. I got I to gotta get into this. And some people, like, through just their own sheer talent are making a point. You know what it that is? It just feels forced. With this situation that they have, like, with the first Civil War, it made sense that every superhero would know about it. Every news outlet was covering it and, like, covering the main point of the book, which mm -hmm. was registration or not. Right. With this... If you're in the superhero circle, maybe you know about it. But otherwise, it's a secret. It's yeah. more like a secret war. Yeah, so, like, it's a secret civil war. Yeah. For me, that makes the tie-in seem, like, a little more difficult to accomplish. Because yeah. Because it's like, unless you were there, how do you know about it? Like, right. Like, you know, unless you're part of an organization that might know about it, how would you know? Like, the news is covering the trial. Yeah. But they don't know what's going on. Or they don't know that there's, like, a clairvoyant and human who is the reason everybody's having a problem. Yeah. And, but, the, I mean, I guess they will. That's what I the argument is. I suppose, yeah. It's weird. I don't fe I don't care. I like, don't. I don't care about either of their arguments. I don't get... I use. I, I originally, I was like, alright, cool, this could be going someplace neat. And, like, I was yeah. like, sure, why not? Like, I, you know, was barely aware of comics and the continuity and all that when the first Civil War was going on, so I kind of had interest in this. And by the time I got halfway through this, where Tony's explaining things seemingly yeah. to an unknown individual, I was like... Well, why doesn't he just tell Carol all this stuff? And then it reveals that, like, that he they're, did. All, they're, they're all there, but he's not talking directly to her, which no. I was like... Well, why aren't you doing that? I'm like, like, also, you, like, literally put yourself in this corner where, like, it just seems like you're nitpicky and just trying to be right, even if you are, so you've already made yourself seemingly a bad guy, even if you're not. Yeah. Like, you put yourself in this situation. Yeah. Where, like, people aren't going to listen to you. I, I would here's here's an idea that I think I would rather see as yeah. far as civil war goes, because the only people who really should and seem to give a shit about anything that's happening mm -hmm. are Tony and Carol. I would love to see a civil war like where they are having a problem with each other and they're just desperate to get anyone on their side and no one will join them. No. <laughs> they're like we've gone through enough goddamn wars yeah. to not care about your problem. Like, no. 
you know, at the end of the day, should we use a human who can see into the future as, like, a basis for law? No. Morally, no. no. Legally, no. Okay, that, I guess that's the end of the argument. Right? But I believe I should. Well, then I guess you will have a problem with whoever we put in charge of arresting you for having a problem. Right? For like, that's the end of it. You I, know what's, like, ridiculous to me is the situations that they that has been put into this book, or that have been put into this book, where it's, like, a woman accused of being part of Hydra. Mm-hmm. And... Thanos. Yeah. And I'm like... Don't you well, see the highs and, like, and lows? I'm like, Tony, um, the Thanos thing, you're wrong. Yeah. Regardless of Rhodey dying, regardless of that, like, if they had a shot to stop him, you take they took the shot. shot. Like, regardless of your percentages and your math problems, mm -hmm. like, that's Thanos the time Thanos showed up it. and he wanted the Cosmic Cube, take it away. Right? Yeah. The woman, I get it, but, like, you have such ridiculous spectrum here and, yeah. like, nobody is in between. No, like, but that's his point. He's saying that, like, you can't have one without the other. You know, it's like, I, I don't know. Well, it, no, you could. You could just have the kid be like, if the following figures show up yeah. in any of these visions, that's when you let us know. Right. Or like a red ball bounces through the scene. Then we know to use them. Like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's just like... Well, then uh, who makes that list? I, I don't know. I don't... But the Thanos thing, I was like, yeah. ah, no, you always take that opportunity. Yeah. For me, <laughs> the most frustrating thing is that I don't believe what they're saying. Yeah. I, I, I don't believe in the argument. I'm not really interested in the argument, and I don't really believe in anything that anybody's talking about. Like, I don't buy Stark's outrage, and I don't get Carol's conviction. So at the end yeah. of the day, this book will never really hit me no, the way that, like, it started to. Because, like, we're at the war now. We got sides. To hell with anybody who tried to explain where they came from or why. Right. But we have the sides. They're on the helicarrier. It's gonna happen. Uh oh. And yeah. like, we, we just feels like even though we had all the like the slow build and we had so many times where we're like we're almost to conflict and then we don't get there. Now that we're here, I really don't want to be. Yeah, because now that we're here, it literally, it really just seems like they like Tony and Carol are just trying to prove that the other one is, is wrong or, and not responsible for their friend's death. Yeah, and it's like that's so bizarre. Yeah, it's like, really weird. It's really petty. It's petty, and it's weird that they chose Carol to be the fa like the other argument. Yeah, because like it, the the motivation is so minuscule that like yeah, it it could have been anybody. It could have been. It, it could have been Spider Man. It could have been Maria Hill. Yeah, like but literally, it could have been Captain America. Either of them. Yeah. It could have been anybody. It really could have. And, it, and, you would, and you would have had to take literally the same amount of effort to make it work for those characters. Right? So. How about the last page reveal of her backup? I was like... <sighs> like, yippee. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> movies much? Yeah, well, movies much. Also, it's like, well, I, I guess at the very least, it kind of makes sense that they would be on the... They deal with a lot larger... They're not gonna be... There's no way they would care about what's happening No, they happening probably here. wouldn't. There's no way. No. But, you know, movies and stuff, they're popular, right? Yeah. Let's put them on the last it's page. I don't know. I don't know. Look, look. If this whole thing... If if in the next few issues, Bendis writes in that, like, Carol and Tony are just being petty jerks and everyone kind of realizes that... Right. If everybody just stops fighting everyone's for a like, second... Everyone's like, goes like, you know what? If you want to... If you want to have a stupid fight, go, go fight it out. Yeah. Bye. Then, like, that would be like, oh, we were leading to that. That'd be cool. That would like, be kind of Bendis cool. likes to tell these kinds of stories where it's, like, smaller in yeah. scale and, like, against a larger backdrop. That'd be cool. I, I would like to see it played against Bendis' strengths. And I gotta say, Doctor Strange is in this, and, like, that wasn't even enough. Because, like, it was like he was there just to be there. He's there because he's got a movie coming yeah, out and, and he, he needs said, to be in the book. he said one line. And I was like... Right. Well, because... I feel like... I feel like the doc here... Would have an argument Would have an make. argument, would have the ability to ascertain whether or not... He's valid yeah, in he's his, valid. like, if visions. Tony's correct in what he's saying, yeah. if, like, where the visions are, if... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't... But he's got a movie coming out. I know, but if you're not going to use him, you can't put him there. Yeah. And that's the problem with magic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem with magic. I mean, like, I'd wait for the trade at this point. I was really kind of high on this book for a while. I but, was, like, too. Marquez's art is so good, I, I but it's not enough to save this boring this boring piece of No, piece of but we will... I'm sure we'll keep... Finishing we'll it keep out. reading it, but like, if out there, if you're waiting, wait, wait until the trade. If yeah, you, it's if gonna, you really care. Yeah, and like, here's the thing that, like, that's the thing about this book. Like, this is a big event. It's not gonna not come out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, you, you buying it or not is it's not gonna. Still gonna the come only out. thing it'll do if everyone stops buying, like after after this issue, everyone just stops buying the damn thing. They'll keep coming out, but they'll think twice before they do something like this again. That's true. Oh. 
times. Oh. That's the only way you're going to teach them. So food for thought. And you got to cancel your pre-orders. Like, if you pre-order right. this book, don't. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to send a message. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, I don't even think this is the, like, I, the, the whole damn thing is so meh. I feel weird planting my flag in it, but, like, if you really have a problem with it, if you're like, because I've had people, when we reviewed the last one, we kind of liked it, they were like, What?! And I'm like, well, if you feel that outrage, don't buy it and tell your friends not to buy it. Yeah, that's absolutely true, though. Like, for, look, for certain things, they're going to have already made their decisions and they don't care. But for yeah. something like this, for an event on the heels of another event that they just had, you know what I mean? Like, this could be enough to, to make get a everyone, point across. Yeah, to, get a, to make a point. Because, like, we're all sick of it at this point. Like, yeah, this, I want my events to be self-contained, really cool, and, and timeless. Not this. Yeah, this is just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Hey, by the way, do you have anything that's coming out this week? Because I do. Oh, yeah? I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, like, there's some books I'm that are sure coming there out. I'm sure there are, but I know for a fact that Doctor Strange Never 10 is coming out. Yes. This week, that, and it's the end of the last days of Magic arc. That's the thing. It's connected with what we were saying, because, like, if you want your books to succeed, you have to pre order them and you got to buy them. Yes. So, so if you want to am... see Doctor Strange continue into issue 20, buy issue 10. Yeah. And, and it's I the last issue of. Of, uh, of last days of Magic of this arc, so. That's cool. So yeah. we're going to see what happens. Oh, we are going to see what happens. That's great. This... And that'll be a collected volume, so. Yeah, it's still written by Jason Aaron. It still is art by Chris Botchlow. Oh, that's great. I did notice, though, that, like, one of the upcoming issues is a different artist, but then uh, it's back to him. Okay, they take breaks every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, so I'm interested to see how that pans out. Will we see you do Last Days of Magic on back issues at some point in the I future? I think you guys might like it. I look forward to it. I haven't yeah. read it. I've deliberately avoided it. Yeah, I feel like you guys might really enjoy it because, um,. It's definitely them taking the opportunity to explain magic. In oh, a sense. cool! And like, well, I hope people listen. I hope that the the editorial is like, okay, that's how magic works. We'll put it on the board, right? And like that, it, it's I really like it. It's how I think magic should work. Yeah. Um, cool. It, unfortunately, they they are self contained in, in this magical world. Like they don't really interact with too many other. No, it's true. Well, they don't have to. It's but true. that really works. But it will influence the rest <laughs> of the Marvel universe, hopefully. In theory, kind of. In a sense, you'll see. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll all see. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, all right. Well, there you go, guys. Civil War Two, number four from Marvel Comics by Bendis and Marquez. It's a good looking, boring thing. That's right. So. Don't buy it if you don't want to see this kind of thing in the future. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Off the Rack. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'm Sal. And I'm Tiffany. Let's see what's in this box. What's in the box? So uh, if you would like to send us a letter, package, whatever, uh, feel free to use the P.O. box there, courtesy of Comic Pop, and uh, we will probably open something like this on the show. Nice. So we got the box open. Let's see what's inside. That was like really good timing, Thank too. Thank you. Nice. Got ourselves a little San Francisco poster. I like that. Greetings oh, from it San Francisco. Here's the note. Here, you want to take, check it out? Sure. All right. Greetings from California, Comic Pop crew. I wanted to thank you guys for the awesome videos that you produce. You bring many laughs and entertainment while I am at work, and you have expanded my knowledge about the wonderful world of comics. The best part of this is that none of my friends ever read comics, and I was able to show them episodes of Back Issues, and it has gotten them curious about the various characters, and now we do our own version of Back Issues during lunch breaks. Aww. Yeah. That's stra awesome. Strangely enough, All-Star Batman and Robin seems to be the one that gets people on board the comics the most. Hey, as long as... <laughs> I mean, the fact is, yeah, that's true. Like, our ever episode makes people go like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> Sal, Ben, and Ethan are always a pleasure to watch on the couch, and Tiffany has opened my previously closed mind indie books, and now I've fallen in love with Image. Yes! Hey! Appropriate search! Appropriate shirt. As a massive thank you for the content that you produce, please find a selection of comics and a pop vinyl. Ooh! Thank you. These titles I thought might make for fun episodes of Back Issues someday, especially a book that I will mention when we open it. Okay. Uh, I have also included a copy of other things uh, that I found once at a half price books. I know Sal has a deep respect for this character, for this creator, and I've never seen this collection before or since. There are also some indie books that I thought were really fun for Tiffany. As a final request, I wanted to know, what was the Comic Pop crew's reaction when they first found out that all the cartoons, for the most part, are just giant toy ads? For me, it made sense, but it was still heartbreaking. Anyway, thanks a lot for the fun videos and new ways my friends and I can connect. Sincerely, Marcus. P.S. I would have written this by hand, but my handwriting is shit. P.P.S. Cape Jell Rocks as well. Uh, thank you very much, Marcus. Our handwriting all sucks. It's fair yes. enough, no problem. Um, yeah, uh, ca uh, cartoons like Thundercats yeah. and G.I. Joe are all toy commercials. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. By the time I found uh, out, I was old enough and cynical enough to be like, yeah. I, well, I, yeah, no, I was, I was definitely, I felt a little betrayal. Yeah. I was like... Yeah, what? I was like, what? I remember as a kid, 
like older, more cynical kids were like, "These are just toy commercials." I'm like, "Shut up! Play with my toys." Yeah. No, that that I never had any interaction with anyone who made that come like into being for mm-hmm. me. Like I had no realization, and then one day. We were talking like, about it. Yeah, and I was like, oh what? my god. Yeah, I will say, I have no regrets. I love those toys. I yeah. love those shows. I had a great time. Uh, it never took anything away from me. Yeah, no, it's true. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Oh, that's Jack a... Kirby's Things fell out of it. Oh, gods. Wow. Hey, these are magnets. Oh, neat. That's awesome. Got Batman 66 magnets and Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> There might be more, I don't know. Sweet. That's cool. He's fun. Going on the fridge. So Jack Kirby's new gods, huh? Yeah, that's we saw cool. them we saw them die and come back in Final Crisis. Ah, that's right. Okay, we also have Supreme Power from Marvel Max. This was really cool. Whoa. This was Straczynski's run. Uh, he created the this this well, he played with this whole crazy alternate universe Marvel thing. Yeah. Uh, this was much critically acclaimed. Uh, I'm excited to re- actually go over this because I kind of avoided it back when it came out. Cause, really? Yeah. I was just like, I, I was kind of sour on the whole Who's Marvel. Who's in it? Uh, Hyperion. You'll see him actually, he would, he was brought over from this to the actual Marvel Universe. He's oh. like a Superman allegory. Oh, does this almost exist outside of the... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. It's true. So, That's very cool. There you go. Nice. Thank you, man. This is awesome. Well, how about that? Oh. Superman Batman World's Finest by Dave Gibbons and Steve Rude. This is cool, too. <laughs> I remember this. Dave Gibbons. <gasps> yeah. This could be Rorschach. <laughs> this is great. Oh, nice. I like that. It's a cool cover. It's very cool. Yeah, I've seen the image of Superman here. That's literally like Max, Max, that's like the Max Fleischer. Yeah. But I've never seen that image of Batman before, and that's very cool. It's crazy. Yeah, I love it. Crap. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. Uh oh, Superman Escape from the Bizarro World from Jeff Johns. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. You don't really do much with Bizarro. No. It's rare you'll see Bizarro. Yeah, I mean, like, you guys did, um, did you do All Star Superman? We did, and we talked about Bizarro. Yeah, I was gonna say he's in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's Volume 1 of Wolf, which is awesome, because I picked up the first one of this, and I really liked it. And I. Didn't know when it came out. Wasn't paying attention. So I can't wait to get caught up on this. Totally. Paranormal Detective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I really like the art style, too. Nice. They use a lot... They play a lot with color. Oh, I to, see To, like, that. affect the way you perceive... Events. Like, what, yeah, events. what's going on and, yeah. like, what kind of, like, emotion, uh, emotional impact you should be having with it. So I can't wait to read this. Thank you. It's awesome. Sweet. The next thing I see in here is... Some rat queens. Hey! Which is awesome. Nice. This is really cool. And, like, I know, like, for a while, like, I, I used to be on board with this book, and then there was that weird thing, mm-hmm. and then I was, like, I was kind of soured by that, and I was like, I shouldn't let that affect me. So I can't wait to get back on board. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool book. Totally. I, I don't, I, mm, I feel like you guys might take this. I think, I mean, like, I read the first <laughs> issue or two, and yeah. I was like, okay. Right? I yeah. don't know. It was weird. The so the, the like the out of the the an, the anachronistic nature of the book was like confusing to me. Oh yeah, no, it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's because you got like you know rockabilly chicks and you know and they're, like and drug use and current slang, but like in yeah, I think that's really cool. Setting. I you know this is like something that like I think that I could get Danielle on board with. Oh no doubt. They got like a mini hack and splash back issues with her with this. I think she'd dig it. Yeah. I think she'd dig it the most. Oh, no, do that. All right, what up? Next thing we got in here is Get Jiro. Oh. Which I've never heard of. I've never heard it's of It's a Vertigo stuff. book. Oh. Nice. It's got a Jimmy Fallon quote on the front. Oh, that's always a mark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Anthony Bourdain? <laughs> this is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> this is written by Anthony Bourdain and Joel Rose. Does he, like... Does he eat a lot of this or something? What, sushi? Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's a sushi chef. Yeah, he's a sushi. Obviously, he's a sushi. He's got the fish. Oh, I didn't see the fish. He's got the fish, and there's, like, the 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 roll roll. back there. Yeah. Huh. This looks awesome. I'm sorry, I'm reading the back of this. This looks awesome. Anthony Bourdain? I love Anthony Bourdain. (laughs) That's awesome. Wow! 
This is cool. Well, all right. I can't wait to read this. Cool, man. One more thing in here. Oh. <gasps> That's awesome. <laughs> Mistake. I didn't want to ruin it, so I was because I didn't know who it was. All yeah. I could see was the back of her head. That Mystique. is so cool. She looks great. I love Mystique's outfit. I'm always just one that's never been. I've realized. always liked the like. I always thought that was bizarre. Like when I was watching the, the X Men, this chick shows up and she's got like a skull bell. Yeah, and, like, and I'm like, cool. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, this is cool. That's really cool. She's going on the shelf. She's going on the shelf. Look at her. Yeah. She looks awesome. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Letters Page. Thank you for these amazing yeah, books. This is awesome. This I gotta, is crazy. I gotta tell you, this is like finding new books I didn't know about, especially by... Someone like Anthony Bourdain? Anthony Bourdain? God! It's like Alton Brown writing a comic book. Speaking of which, Alton Brown... Get on this. Write a comic book. Yeah, right? I completely agree with that. Hashtag Good Eats Comic. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is awesome. I can't wait to read this. This looks ridiculous and over the top, and it reminds me exactly of what I think of Anthony Bourdain. Right. And I have to assume there's going to be some sort of awesome food facts, and <laughs> <laughs> maybe a Godfather reference. Oh, no doubt. Remember when he did that? Mm -hmm. Whole episode, but no yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. We'll see you guys next time with another episode. I am Sal. I'm, and I'm Tiffany. Thank you I was going to say, I'm Tiffany, and yeah. then waiting for the other and. Oh, well, but, there aren't any there isn't. It's just us. But, uh, hey, if you would like to send us a letter or package, no expectations or requirement to do so but check the description and you'll get the, the address use it and, yeah. uh, and you might find your items and packages featured on an episode of one of our shows right so thank you very much and we'll see you guys later i'm sal again and i'm tiffany bye bye what were you gonna say i was gonna say i'm mystique no that's not what she sounds like <laughs> i'm mystique that's... she's really chipper for mystique. yeah she's just having a nice time she's not like jennifer jennifer lawrence's mystique no i'm too good for this job well...